Let's talk about this chainsaw mill that I put together. I uh, needed a way to make some logs into boards and I wanted the simplest, cheapest way that I could do it. I had a gas powered chainsaw mill. The problem that I was having, it was too loud. Um, and I don't want to wake my neighbors up every time I use it. I want something I can use anytime and I can plug it into a wall outlet. Here's what I came up with. This is a uh, two horsepower induction motor, the kind that's used on a compressor. And the bar and chain came off of a chainsaw that somebody gave me. And I got the sprocket off of it. I built the mechanism to go between the motor. Anyways, the disadvantage of the chainsaw mill, it's a little slower than a bandsaw mill. And it takes more work with each cut. But I decided that um, the little bit that I'm going to be using this mill, or any mill, I decided that it wasn't worth the five to six thousand dollar investment. So this is what I came up with and I'm going to show you how it works and you can kind of see how I built it and that will be the video. Watch and enjoy. Before we get started, let's make sure that our blade is nice and sharp. I will put a piece of blocking under the log to keep it from rolling so I can make my initial cut. I put a little oil on the sprocket into the bar. Now I will make my initial cut which will give me a flat spot to roll the log onto. Let's look at the different parts of the mill. Maybe I can explain how it works a little better. What I started out with was an extension ladder. And then on the extension ladder sits on some benches. My last milling I did, I cut a bunch of cedar and I put that together to make the, the seats that I actually use for a picnic table when they're not being used for the mill. I made a table that sits up right over there that is where I put all my stuff because you're always needed a place to set things. Now see I, put, I built these right here. These are where the board sits. It's just a block of wood with a stop on the end of it so the log can roll against the stop and while I'm cutting it keeps it from rolling forward or going backwards. Okay now let's go over. This is the roller frame take a look at it. I basically just use skateboard wheels for the roller frame and I made it so that it would sit. So see there's a, let me move this out of the way, there's a wheel that holds it centered right over here on the other side. There's wheels that hold it centered and then there's the wheels that hold my height. You kind of see that. Next, this 
is a fifth wheel jack. It's the kind that they use on the RVs for raising and lower the front end. Well, the gear ratio, I just put a crank handle on it. If I turn the crank 14 times, it will raise it and lower it one inch. So that's how I get my height. All I do is I make a cut, go back 14 turns, and go again. Then I welded a bracket onto the side of it. Let's get a good look at that. And the bracket on the side of it, I mounted a tube which goes to the frame which holds the chainsaw. Or in this case, an electric motor and a chainsaw bar. Then, now that I've got my forward and reverse, and I've got my up and down, I, I tr need a way to pull it through. Since this motor turns slower, I have to use this. Uh, it's a crank with it's basically a rope that goes to a thing at the other end of the ladder. I crank it and it pulls it through. What I'm losing, because this doesn't turn as fast as the chainsaw, I'm losing the speed, which means I'd have to push harder than I want to. Let's take a look at the mechanism. I basically just mimicked the chainsaw with this mechanism. I built a 5 8 inch bushing to go around the shaft of the electric motor, as you see there. This is the sprocket that came off. This was where the, normally the centrifugal clutch would be. I machined it down and then I put, I bolted it on and then there is another, uh, it's a big washer I put on there so that the bar or the chain can't come off. And then over here, I put the adjustments. I don't know if you can see those. Those are the adjustments that would normally uh, adjust the bar. And you loosen those up, you pull the bar tight, and then tighten them up. Let me see, I'll show you how easy it turns. Yeah, see, it turns nice and easy, really easy. Next thing is, I don't obviously have an oiler, so I just use a, I just use a little oil can to oil it. Now let's go watch it. <laughs> 